This is Transformers 96 here with another video, and I'm going to be reviewing the Star Wars The Black series from the solo film Han Solo himself. So yeah, so this is a figure that I definitely wanted to get as he is the main character of this new film. However, I'm just not quite as excited for this movie as I should be. Uh, I do plan on posting this the day the movie comes out, which is Friday, which means I will have already seen it by the time I post this. However, at the time of filming this, I have not seen the movie yet because it is just Tuesday. Um, but I am, I'm starting to get uh, excited for it just because, you know, it's a Star Wars movie, it comes out in a couple days, I've got my tickets, so I'm starting to get excited for it. But but for a Star Wars movie, I'm certainly not as excited for it as I should be. However, going over this figure, it, it actually, this is a solid figure. I, I do like it. I think that the head sculpt itself, that's going to be the biggest thing. It is pretty pretty solid. I think that uh, the Black Series is really good when it comes to head sculpts. They're probably the leading um, series on head sculpts from this scale, and I think that they do quite a nice job. It does definitely resemble the actor in the film, and it's painted really nicely. They do use uh, printer... Um, uh, uh, face scanning and printing when it comes to their figures and it allows their eyes in particular to be really solid and spot on and have quite a bit of detail so it does look very nice I do like it I like the hair I also like the fact that it is like a dark brown with a lighter brown uh, that's been kind of washed into it I think it looks excellent the jacket itself does look very nice it does have quite a nice amount of wrinkles especially around the arms and there is it, it has like a light brown base with a gray that's been washed into it but it's been washed into it like really light around the uh, the front here which just allows it to really just settle into the creases only, uh, which I think looks great. It gives it a really natural look. Then he does have a black undershirt, which is sculpted very nicely. The bright blue uh, pants are nice, but they're a little bright for my taste. I wish that they went slightly darker. However, it's not too bad. And then the red stripe on the side does look very nice. The boots themselves look really good. Like, I, that's that's an impressive faux leather look, because, of course, that is just plastic, but it does, especially with some good light on it, have, like, a, a, a leathery look to it, because it has, like, all those creases and cracks like leather would have. So I'm, in, I'm pretty impressed with that. I do like that quite a bit. Um... His hands look slightly bulky to me, uh, especially the left hand here. I don't know why, just the way that he's got like the clamping hand, it, it just it looks a little bulky. However, it's nothing too bad, and it's nothing you know too different from your average um, Black Series figure. He does does of course have his signature gun, which can be holstered quite nicely. The holster does have a strap, which can be removed and plugged in very easily, which I do like. And as you can see, he holds it very nicely. His articulation is really good. He's got a bull hinged neck, which can look down decent amount, can look up some and side to side. He's got ball hinge shoulders, uh, hinge swivel elbows. The hinge goes well over 90 degrees. Very impressed with that hinge. Really allows you to do some really nice uh, poses, especially with the gun. You can get the gun arm up quite high, especially since his right hand has a hinge on the wrist that allows it to go up and down rather than in and out like the left side, which I do really love. That's something that the other Han Solo from The Force Awakens had. However, this one just has more range than that Han Solo, so you can do more stuff with it, which is really nice. He's got ball hinge uh, thighs, or sorry, he has a ball uh, jointed torso, which can't go forward or back very far, but it does have full range side to side and does have a really nice tilt to it. Ball jointed thighs, which on the left thigh is perfect. On the right thigh, it's slightly hindered by the uh, the gun strap, but it's it's still, you can still bend it freely, basically. But it does worry me uh, if you leave him in a position like this, if the uh, if the softer plastic will start to deteriorate. He has swivels at the thighs, double hinge knees, hinge uh, pivoting ankles. The hinges go really far both ways, which is really nice, and then the pivot is, of course, excellent. However, it does have the tendency to slide out to the side, uh, which is a bit annoying when you're doing some kind of wide uh, leg stances. But with Han Solo, you don't do too many of those, so it's not uh, too bad for him, for that character at least in particular. Giving you a comparison here with the uh, Harrison Ford Han Solo from The Force Awakens. As you can see, the two of them kind of look nice together. They're, they're very similar um, uh, body structures, especially how it really gets thin towards the ankles there. And they're, of course, in very similar costumes. Uh, that, that was a pretty nice face sculpt on the... Um on the older Han Solo. I don't have the regular original trilogy Han Solo. That would be nice to have so you can get the like the three different age ranges of Han Solo. That would be pretty neat. But overall the two of them do look quite nice together. I like the colors of this one quite a bit though. The dark brown that they chose to go with the black, the blue, uh, uh, really highlights the figure quite nicely and I am quite a fan of it. So overall, this is a solid figure. I wouldn't recommend paying full price for this one uh, just because he's, he's rather common. Nobody seems to really be gunning for this one. Of course, I think just the movie in general lacks um, uh, 
lacks, you know, a real excitement from fans. Uh, but you can be, you can get this one for well under retail. I was able to get this for like thirteen fifty on eBay, new. So not bad. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this line. They're actually they're producing some nice figures. I have the Range Trooper, and then of course I have Han Solo, and they both really impress me. I do like the figures quite a bit, so I am hoping that I'll be able to get the other figures uh, soon. And I do want to get them at a discount just because the line just lacks popularity. So I think it's going to be pretty easy to do that. So there you go. So overall, let me know what you guys think of the figure, and thanks so much for watching.